week I got a very special lady here with me and she got a treat for me and you, not for me and you, me and you. And uh, her name is Frankie and she's from Magic Wingdom. I got it! I got it. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at how beautiful she is. Her uh, hair. Love her hair. Love <laughs> thank it. you. And it's you? No, oh, it's beautiful. You've got blue eyes, everything. You've got a full package. <laughs> if, if I had this blue eyes, babe. <laughs> <laughs> so, Frankie, tell me about you. Tell me all about you. We want to know uh, uh, what this blue eyes come from. <laughs> this gorgeous hair. Okay, well, um, I live in uh, Warwick mm -hmm. um, and I've been working in hospitality for about 20 odd years, probably longer mm -hmm. than I'd like to admit. Um, I'm really passionate about food mm. um, and also about wine. Oh. So I'm studying at the moment to get my degree in wine um, with hopefully a view to in the future being able to educate people about wine. Oh, you told me that. Yeah. But go deep on you. You're okay. trying to hide. You're okay. trying to hide. <laughs> Come on. Tell me how, how you live all your life. In, in, in You told me your parents are from Scotland. Yeah, my mum's Scottish, um, mm -hmm. but I grew up in Warwickshire. Um, and then I went to university in Cardiff. Oh, yeah. Cardiff. Yeah. Um, don't judge me for that. Um, Is it Cardiff the place that uh, Gavin Stacey? Uh, uh, in, are they in Newport, I think. Are they in Newport? Barry. 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 It's, Barry it's, yeah. it's really close to. It's really close to Cardiff. Is it? Oh, yeah. So I'm not that it's wrong. Really okay. Oh, I got one wrong. Right. right. Okay. Go on. Continue. So you 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 studied there. I studied there. I did a degree in English literature. Ooh. And then I got into photography and worked. They competition here. <laughs> Definitely not. No, not pressure. Um, did a few events and stuff like that. Did a couple of like assisted on some exhibitions. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of photography do you love the most? I like doing street photography. Oh. So I went traveling through India and we took a lot of pictures when we were out there with a friend of mine who's a published photographer. Okay. Um, just natural street scenes and things like that. Oh. Um, and then I did, I did do a few weddings and bar mitzvahs. Um, but the pressure is crazy. It is. Yeah. David, David, you should do weddings. He doesn't do anymore. Yeah, I don't blame you. So I said, no, David, I need you to look after the kids on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> David, the kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the photography or weddings is quite, it's life, you cannot go back. It's just something, it's yeah. not like this show that we can do something wrong, like me doing the name exactly. Magic Wingdom. Magic Wingdom. Does go wrong and we correct, but yeah. on weddings you can't do that. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I just... I'll make you change. So, oh, I've got to change everything. Well, I'd worked in... It seems that you did very well. I Yeah, no, I mean, I enjoyed it. I just, I ended up moving back from Cardiff to Ooh. live back in the Midlands. Um, and then got involved working with my old boss who had a pub in Leamington that did a lot of live music. Ooh. So I did all the photography. We had Craig Charles come and perform and things like that. Oh, wow. So I did all the social media photography whilst pulling pints at the same time. Um, so that was quite nice bridging. And then I tried to do a bit of marketing. A lot of people that work in hospitality at some point go, oh, I've had enough of this. Yeah. Um, because you sacrifice quite a lot. Yeah. Um, but I realized that I didn't want to be out of the industry. So we you love food as well. So love a... food, love food. Yeah. yeah, really love cooking. So um, then what were you, are you in the staff you work, did you still work with this, this boss that you had or not? So, so I, w I worked with him for a number of years and then I met my business partner, Sam who okay. we're business partners now in Magic Wingdom. Okay. Um, so I met him nearly 10 years ago. Are you guys a partner on the business? Or Just partner? business. Oh, okay. That's... Not pleasure, yeah. <laughs> I would say, very much baby, not. I, I, it's very hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at the David's We already want to kill, yeah, we already want to kill ourselves. <laughs> Each other, rather. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't do that. <laughs> I have worked with my other half did briefly, you? yeah, yeah, yeah. And what does was, he do? He uh, is an electrician. Okay. So, but he used to help out at the pub. So okay. he he helps us at the events and things like that that you've seen us at. So. So if as long as he understand that you have the last word, or actually he has the last word. Mm -hmm. What's your last word that you say to me, Dave? Sorry. Yeah, I was no. going to say, <laughs> mercy. <laughs> as long as they understand.
stay there. Yeah. That's fine. We're all good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, so going back to your to you, you started to do this, and then you you when you started the let's go to the magic wing wingdom. So wingdom. wingdom. Did I say it right? Yeah. Okay. Good. So we started Magic Wingdom uh, in lockdown, so yeah. in 2020. Um, we had an empty pub and we were just playing around in the kitchen, me and Sam, developing some recipes. And then this restaurant site came up and it actually, we weren't intending to use it for Magic Wingdom. Mm. We had wanted to do like a wine bar, mm. Grace and vine yeah, small plates type business, yeah. but we couldn't change the license of the restaurant it's just got a restaurant license mm -hmm. so we had wanted to do something up market in the fast food arena yeah uh we'd gone traveling to um new york in 2019 for his partner's 40th and we went to some cool bars over there that were doing like fried chicken and different yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah in different ways and then he, they also went to japan um, and just those trips really inspired the kind of menu at Wingdom or some of the flavors that we yeah. use at Wingdom. Um, and then, yeah, we found this, we found this restaurant site and, uh, we started renovating it in, uh, 2020 and opened in May, 2021. How amazing. We met, we met and it's, it's, it's up, up. you guys, not only about, because we say chicken, it can be very boring, mm. right? But you put the salsa you guys put the salsa the chef is on the side i'll go we're going to be showing the chef in a bit um but it's like um you guys are into your sauces sauces right? yeah it's all the secrets on the sauces it's a big usp for us our sauces, yes you got definitely. lots of awards we have four awards yeah yeah so how that come where did you where, where did we start oh we're going to do this food but we're going to do sauces as well also come from from yeah, America very much in, from, in, from in, our uh, travels, yeah. And it was, we were wanting to kind of differentiate from that just sort of southern fried chicken mm -hmm. or buttermilk chicken yeah. that lots of people do. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I'm a condiment queen. I love, I'm a saucy girl. Mm, I love sauces, you. yeah. I love sauces. Mm. So something I'm really passionate about. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we're really proud of what we've, we've managed to develop from the awards we've won for the sauces. I saw, I went to the restaurant and, and got loads of awards. Look like, like a, you know when you go to a football mm. thing and there's loads of awards and massive ones. And it's really, yeah, they're pretty very big. Good. Yeah, very <laughs> yeah. big. Let me watch, let me put my glasses on my eyes so, <laughs> so I can now. see. Because if I put too close, my eyelashes touch them. <laughs> Thank you to Naomi, my makeup artist is there. Making your face. Mm. Oh, you look much prettier like me. <laughs> It does. You can see me now. Oh my God, babe, what are these eyes? I'm, I'm in love with her eyes. Oh. I'm just, oh, I wish, I'd marry a gingerbread man to give me ginger kids. <laughs> and none of my kids got blue eyes or ginger I hair. I tried three times, three times I did. Right, so I said I'll not try anymore. One day you might get a grandchild that maybe that's got a, maybe. the ginger gene, because it can skip a generation. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. So, we talk about how you guys started, the inspiration, where it comes mm -hmm. from, New York and Japan. Mm -mm. I love the sources. I met you guys at the festival, Pursuit Festival. Mm -hmm. And, oh my God, you know, are you there now? No, we're not there. Oh, I could eat that every day. <laughs> and the sauce is you not can. like chick with the sauce. So mm. <laughs> tell, me, tell me about, first I want to ask you about your challenge because uh -huh. I know when you open a business and bring a new idea to, to you brought, it was for, if it was for, long, for to London, mm. I will understand, but you bring from Lemon to Spice, quite yeah, a small town. It is. So what do you, how was, how, what was your, your biggest challenge? I mean, the biggest challenge would have been opening when we did because it was just after COVID. Mm. Um, so that was really, really tough. Um, it's difficult when you open a new business full stop um, and it just is. trying to get the word out. Yeah. Um, and, you know, building a decent customer basis mm -hmm. takes time. Yeah. Um, and people were out of work for a long time. So, and, you know, there's quite a lot of competition in Lemington as well. Um, we so are that lucky was. In Lemington, we know, we yeah, lots, lots, of, yeah. lots of nice independence, mm -hmm. which is great, but mm -hmm. lots of uh, brunchy type places and not as many <clears throat> evening yeah. restaurants. Um, and then we had the war, well, the war in Ukraine that's been going on for a long time has driven up the prices of key things that we use, like oh, flour and right. cooking oil. 
Um, and then avian flu meant the price of chicken went through the roof as well. So our kind of raw ingredients like trebled in cost effectively yeah. from, from when we started. So that's been difficult. Yeah. Uh, and then just in general, the staffing crisis in hospitality is yeah. really, really hard. Everybody complains. Everybody says that one of the hardest things is also staffing, find people yeah. that to, because it's your dream. Isn't it? It's your thing. Yeah. It's not everybody going to have the same passion. No, passed. trying to get you, other people it, to yeah. buy into that. Yeah, is, the idea uh, is yeah. quite good. Yeah. We've got a good chef there. It's really we good. have, Look at yeah. him, Look at him there. Right. Look at his... <laughs> 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 um, so, your challenge. But talk, tell me about your accomplishment because you guys have got loads of things, good things to talk. <laughs> well, so we were lucky enough to be invited to take part in Wingfest, which is a big <clears throat> countrywide competition. They have one in Birmingham, one in London and one in Bristol. We got invited by some of the organisers who'd come to the restaurant to take part. Uh, Amazing. And then uh, we got first place in both the judges' awards in our first year. Wow. Uh, and in second place in both of the People's Choice awards as well. So we picked up four awards. Um, and then last year... Just a second. <laughs> Clap your hands, Thank you, Tariq. It's good. Yeah, and we got those big trophies that you referenced. Yeah. yeah. So that was really, really nice. Um, and that was that was a huge bonus for the restaurant. That you know we yeah. really were struggling with customers. And the second year we got we went we went back and we got first place again. So it was really it was great to go and defend our title uh, two years in a row. So defending that belt. Woohoo! Yeah. Put some clap there, Mark. Woohoo! <laughs> Magic wind. <laughs> Really <laughs> Is there a, like a blooper reel for this show? Yeah. Okay, good. 90%. <laughs> I want to watch it. <laughs> the people that watch me understand my English, don't I you? You it. guys understand. My, you know me, I'm bonkers, but I, I'm a good people, good person. Yeah, good person. we love it. Right, so, so I'm good people, good person. <laughs> I got you guys to correct me, okay? Uh, right, so uh, do you have a... a a chef that you like, oh, I admire, I, I want to be like them, or a restaurant or something like that, that you like, oh. Uh, ooh. A chef, maybe a chef, a chef that you look up to it. Uh, I, well, I guess any chef that works within their community using local suppliers and things like that. Um, so Tommy Banks up in York, who has the restaurant Roots oh. and the Black Swan at Oldstead. They do so just much for their... Just like big names, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. All right, okay, right. They do, they, they, I just love the whole ethos yeah. behind their restaurant. Yeah. It's really sustainable. Yeah. It's seasonal. Uh, yeah. And yeah, it's really community focused, creating have you been jobs. To, have you been to the Woodsman in Stratford? I have, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're really good. They came in the show. Did they? Amazing nice. Food as well. It was very nice, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, really good meal Hello there. to, to, to Hello. the chef, Hi, Greg. Greg. Hey, Greg. <laughs> I forgot your name. Hey, Greg <laughs> from Woodsman. Guys from Woodsman, very good. We're very amazing food yeah, as well. Yeah, really good. They're good. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like this this kind of thing. People uh, um, does locally so, trying to yeah. source everything locally. It's quite good. Have you been to Salt in Stratford? Salt. Salt. No, I never. Paul Foster, who's the, the chef patron there, mm -hmm. he was one of the judges at Wingfest that gave us first place. Fantastic. So it appeals oh, to good. all well sorts done. of people. Mm. So very good. Thank you. Well, guys are very good. <laughs> Love it. I can't, I can't say too much because I, I, I'm a fan. Like, really. I, it's very crazy because I don't like fried food. Mm. But, I, but when I eat fried food, which would be like the type of fried food that you guys do because... The but, but you go cut butter, mm -hmm. butter, it's crunchy and nice. It's not like I have one other day. I, I love your oh my god, cauliflower, 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 mm, cauliflower. The but that is really not yours. Mm. Was like mm, perfection. I ate another one in another place because I, I try yours and I'm like, oh, I like that. Mm. Not good. Because mm. there was so much butter than more than, than, than the, 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 the cauliflower I had to find. Where is the cauliflower? Yeah, some people you know. do a really thick batter. Yeah, yeah. We it was don't. not good. It was yeah. very, you guys do the perfect Thank thing. Thank you. Mm. Very much. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> when mm. you go out, which restaurant would you go? Uh, if I go out in Leamington, it would be usually, it's usually for sort of lunch or brunch. And I mm. love Warwick Street Kitchen. That's probably my, oh, my big go-to. But they do tacos on a Friday night, which are amazing oh, as well. Oh, I think I tried that. Yeah. Oh, did you not try, Dave? You no. need to try. 
Yeah, love they do their own chocolate. tacos, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Everything's homemade. Yeah. Everything's got slightly interesting ingredients. Mm. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's great. I Very love it. Good. Yeah. Suggestion for you guys there? Yeah. Work, if you didn't try yet, I did. It's very good. I, I like that as well. Um, what is your favorite type of cuisine? Uh, thai food. Yeah. What the best. It, which Thai you go to eat here? I mean, it, here. hopefully in Thailand, but um, around here, um, where have I eaten? Oh, the art kitchen in Warwick. Art kitchen in Warwick. Yeah. So, tell me, Frankie. What is this, in your opinion, what is the secret of a successful business? Because I know Magic Winden is not the only business you guys have. You, you're, more, you're longer than three years on the, oh, yeah. on, the, on the industry. Yeah. So tell me what about this secret that you guys have. <laughs> and what's the name of the other company as well, the other food business you guys have? So we have a pub called The Drawing Board. I think everybody knows that one. Also won lots of awards. I know. Over the years, yeah. Mm. Um, so what is the secret then? I honestly well. just think it's looking after the people that you have working for you because um, you can't do it all by yourself. For sure. Um, so investing in training your staff and looking after them and mm -hmm. having a real kind of personal relationship with them is something that's really important to me um, because it's an industry that has famously got yeah. a really high turnover of staff. Yeah. Um, and we've been really lucky in our businesses to keep people for a long time because they've just kind of become part of the family. Yeah, if you don't, if you, if you, if you don't treat them well, well, they are your face and you cannot be in everywhere all the time, exactly. isn't it? Exactly, yeah. exactly. I so. agreed. Yeah, good. Message received there, guys, <laughs> if you want to pay attention, because this lady knows what she's doing. Um, so your success, uh, you told me about the secret of success, and what about this sauce there? What is about this sauce that we, we, we love it so much? What do you guys, what's the secret? We're it's gonna addictive. Have, we're going to have any recipe of this today. <laughs> these, these are secret. Mm. These are our can award. These are our Not award open. winning. Uh, you can open them. Can yeah, I? Of course you can, yeah. <laughs> if you guys could smell this. I wish you guys could smell this one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so which one is this? So this is our buffalo sauce. Okay. Uh, and then in the restaurant, when you have it, you get it with a blue cheese dressing. Oh. Um, and then celery and chives. Mm. Uh, and then this is our house sauce. Mm. So this is very special to us. We yeah. also won with this um, with this sauce. So this is Wingdom okay. sauce. Um, and it's gochujang based, so Korean red pepper. Um, and then lots of uh, secret herbs and spices. <laughs> I'm going to... I'm just going to... Have a little taste. I need to have a little taste. I'll, let me grab a spoon. Let me grab can a you spoon. Buy, can you buy this to take home? So currently, can you buy it? Can you buy it? Currently, we're not selling them in this large format. Um, but if you do go on Deliveroo, oh. uh, you can buy a slightly larger tub. Right. So um, if you guys go to the festivals, they can buy this on festival. It's yeah. Smaller, smaller. Yeah, version, we're going to be right? selling them this year. Yeah. Smaller version. This one yeah. is it for me? Yeah. Is it? Is it? Gift for you, of course. Thank you very <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing I can't, oh guys this is yeah. delicious you guys need to try I'm going to put back here it's delicious <laughs> can't wait for that so it's, it's um, so with this sauces and, and all the restaurants the two restaurants the pub and, and, and the um, Kingdon Winden yep Winden Magic Winden <laughs> Magic Winden uh, so what is your long term goal um, so we would really love to open another restaurant um, oh. and we would very much like to get our own food van um, so that we can take Wingdom on the road. Because you guys do lots of festivals. So we do a few, we do a few, but we're currently not particularly mobile. We're doing it from a marquee. Yeah. So yeah, investing in a food truck is, is definitely the next, the next step for the restaurant. Oh, cool. That yeah. is really good. So which advice would you give to someone that's starting now, like you guys 10 years ago, or yeah. three years for the window? So how, what do you say starting now? I think be, think really carefully about your product. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure it's something you really believe in because that's something I, I really believe in what we do. It's all, you know, high quality produce and, and homemade. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, make sure that you get your financials right because at no. the moment it's more important than ever. So, yeah. yeah. 
Amazing. So this is advice from a lady that knows what she's talking about. So get to financial sorted. Yeah. And where you're getting your food from. Well, yeah, yeah but just do good. something you're passionate about. Believe yeah. in it. You believe in it. Yeah. yeah. I'm passionate about eating. Yeah, same. So what should <laughs> should we should we do some of that now? <laughs> <laughs> so I think we got everything from you a part of the food that we're going to go in. So thank you so much for your time. I know thank you're busy you. and and preparing all the stuff for for your restaurants as well. Preparing. When do you think you're going to open this new one? We've just got to find the right place first. So Coming soon, hopefully. Very good, very good, very good. <laughs> so, guys, this is Frankie, and we just gonna go for cooking now. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, guys. We're here at my kitchen, and I got some people here that was not here before. Frankie, tell me who is this gorgeous man? <laughs> uh, this is Ashley. He's our head chef at Wingdom. Um, otherwise known as King of the Kitchen. I met him at the festival. You did, mm, yeah. You did that nice food for me. Mm. <laughs> so you're going to be cooking today? He's going to be cooking today, so I'm going to very much leave you guys to it and uh, take a sit down and a well-earned rest. Yeah, and have a look at the, have a walk around the studios. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so thank see you, you later. So much. See you. <laughs> see you. Thank you. Thank you. Ash. So what are we going to be cooking, babe? What are we going to be cooking? Is it something that we ate at the festival? Uh, so you've got something you had at the festival coming up in a little bit. Uh, right now we're going to do a new dish to our menu, which is a smacked cucumbers. What? Smacked cucumbers. Smack. Smacked cucumbers. Um, so you'll, you'll get to play with that and it's good fun. Yeah. Um, I'm going to smack the cucumber on David's head. Yeah. <laughs> do you want the, the cucumber on your head? <laughs> I'm joking. Go, go on. <laughs> Um, and then we're going to do some tamarind and caramel uh, wings as well. So you're going to do the sauce as well? Yeah. Because you need to do a sauce because the sauce, guys, is the, is, you're not going to do your signature sauce. We're right? not, no. So this one is one that's been on the menu since day dot. <laughs> uh, it's a very good sauce. Okay. Um, but no, What's the name of the sauce? Away. Tamarind and caramel. Oh, I like that. Mm, that sounds... Mm. So we're going to start with what? With the, with the salad? Yep, with the salad first. Okay, so let's do the salad. So why do we start with the salad? Because this needs to be... Uh, so we've got to salt them to try and re uh, remove any excess moisture. So we're going to dehydrate, a little bit of dehydration, a little sort bit, of, just yeah. a tiny bit, yeah. So 10, 15 minutes, perfect for it. Fantastic. Let's, let's do it. Let's do this. Let's okay. do it. So do you want me to help? Do you want me to do anything? Use so, me as your sous chef, whatever you like. Okay. So what we're going to do abuse, first. Don't but just use. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to cool. take the uh, ends off all the cucumbers mm -hmm. and then we're going to smash them apart. Right. So. That's so if people are doing it at home, you're doing with three cucumbers here. Three cucumbers. But soon. this will serve how many people with this quantity you're doing? Depends how much you like cucumbers, to be fair. Oh, wow. So here you'd have so a much. perfect for a family of four. Uh, and just a little appetizer on the side of the plates. Mm -hmm. um, but they also keep quite well as well, so keep for two days. Okay. Um, yeah, just keep enjoying them. The longer mm. you leave them, the more they marinate. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Sorry. So, I'm sorry, I'm hungry. Mm, 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 mm. I love we're cucumber. Mm. Is we're going to get a knife on the back. We're going to give it all a hit the whole okay. way along. And smash right. it. And what that's doing is going to create lots of rough edges. So that's it's not just your normal straight cut. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, mate. Oh. Now we'll go down. Destroy it. It really smashed the cut. <laughs> got to smash them up. That's the whole name of it. Smacked. It's Mark or Smash. <laughs> you thought you're sure the name is wrong? No, it could be. Correct. You might have to remake it. Yeah, it could be it's Mash or Smack. <laughs> so, so, as we do it, we're just going to put them into the bowl. Okay. Another one. So, let's have a go. Smash. I'm not strong enough. You can do it. Keep going. I. I that, that's all right? Yeah. This side? That side. You. Oh, my finger. Ooh. Now cutting in the middle? Yep, so you're just going to go straight down the middle. That's it? And, and again? Then you're going to take it into chunks. Like that? Yeah. So now he's already cut everything. I'll chop it up. So what is the next we're going to do? The next Ash. thing we're going to do is get some salt and we're going to give them all a good mix. Okay. So about 10 grams of salt. Of and we're just going to mix that through. Okay. 
Once we're happy it's mixed through enough, we're just going to let that sit and that will draw out any of the moisture that's left in the cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Otherwise it will just have pure water. Yeah. It's made up 90% of water. Okay. So if you're doing that set, this at home, it starts with the cucumber because I think this, they're going to taste delicious. I never tried, but I'm going to try today and I'm very excited about it. So now we're going to do a sauce. Yes. Is that right? Yep. So this is the dressing that we put onto the cucumbers. Mm -hmm. um, so it's Thai and Korean infused. Okay. Uh, flavors. Everything works really well, comes mm. out a little bit sweet, very unami, mm. uh, yeah, all works well. So what we got, what we got there? So we've got 36 grams of Maggie. 36 grams of? Maggie. Maggie. We're then going to go for a high quality sesame oil. Sesame oil. Which is How eight grams is off. How many? Eight grams. Eight grams. We've got 60 grams of soy. Soy sauce, yeah. We've got 120 grams of rice wine vinegar. Yeah. We've then got 40 grams of ginger. We've then got brown sugar. That is garlic, well. isn't it? Garlic, that's not, yeah, not ginger. <laughs> 40 grams I'm looking of at garlic. The ginger, that is. <laughs> 40 so, grams of garlic. We've then got 20 grams of brown sugar. Brown sugar. And we've got 6 grams of gochugaru. What is that? So gochugaru is a Korean red pepper flakes. Oh. Uh, so it's not got the seeds and everything in there. Mm. A um, little bit smoky, you can substitute it for a hot. Uh, smoky paprika. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, and then we've got 40 grams of ginger. As 40 well. grams of ginger, okay. So we're just going to help the ginger keep the skin on there. Yeah. And we're just going to chop it down a little bit. Yeah, to cut the fiber. Yeah. What well, you go, fiber, fiber? What do you guys call Fiber. Fiber. Yeah. Not fiber, fiber. Tomato, tomato. Potato. Zebra, zebra. Well, you know. And then with this, we're, we're, we're just gonna going blend to blend it. Into the blender. Get into the <laughs> That was a good dancing. We're gonna take off. We're gonna take it off. Taste <laughs> it. It's gonna be spicy. A little bit spicy, not too much. Oh, oh, nice. Good. Oh, delicious, Dave. Don't worry, we're gonna have the recipes on 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 the on our YouTube channel and the book as well. Mm, 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 mm. So, what we do with that? Uh, so that will go over the cucumbers. So the cucumbers have been sitting for around ten minutes. I'm just gonna. Wash them off, so wash off all the excess salt. Okay, so you're washing now? Yeah. Just a little bit, not too much? Just, not a little, uh, just a little bit, not too much. You don't want to be adding more water, uh, more water back in. You're do just you trying want, to take off Do you off want that uh, something salt. to drain? Uh, yeah, if you've got one. Give it a good shake off to make sure we get rid of all the excess water. Mm -hmm. So now we go to the bowl. Yeah, so we're just going to put it all into the bowl. Mm -hmm. and then we're going to get our dressing. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure because it's... Everything is mixed, isn't it? Make sure it? everything's mixed very well. The delicious sauce. And then add as much or as little as you want. Oh, I like more. So then we're just going to toss that through. Mm, okay. And then we're just going to garnish it with some toasted sesame seeds. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. So you prepare that first. You guys prepare that first because then it's ready your salad. So you're going to do the chicken and the, the tamarind and caramel sauce yeah mm. so there's the salad done yeah that's the salad done oh. all ready to go mm. right so we're back here finishing the caramel sauce yeah uh so what we got there so in there you've got brown sugar water and a chili okay one so, chili without cutting huh? yeah just whole chili straight into that <laughs> you put the map gonna put the closed caption for you to understand me <laughs> Right, so what else we're going to do? So Ash? we're going to put together uh, mm -hmm. the tamarinds, fish sauce and corn flour okay. with some water and that's what's going to set the tamarind and caramel. Yeah, make it, make it thick enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, fantastic. So, so into that we've got tamarinds, three tablespoons worth of tamarinds uh, with, your, with so you got 30 water grams there. of water. Oh, 30 grams of yeah. water and? And then we're going to add a Tablespoon and a half of fish sauce. Oh, fish sauce, oh, fish sauce adds a good thing, isn't it? Mm. Is that supposed to be like that? Yeah. yeah? So that will just be a second. We should have this ready for it just in time. Okay. And we're going to squeeze in a quarter of a lime. Okay. Just the uh, juice. In Portuguese, we call lime lemon. Lemon, yeah. Is everything is lemon? It's Lima a green lime, lemon, isn't it? A green lemon and yellow lemon. Everything is lemon, and I never get right here. So, so and then we've that? got corn flour as well. So we've got five grams of corn flour. Yeah, put all together. 
all together. We're just going to stir that together to make a little cornflour slurry. Mm, okay. Making sure you've removed all the lumps out of it. Okay. Otherwise they'll set. Okay. And that's already there. Oh, really mixed. And as you can okay. see, the caramel is now bubbling. Pull it back off the heat. Yeah. And grab our whisk as well. Our oh, whisk. Make sure you've got a whisk that is metal so it can withstand yeah. the heat. Yeah. So the caramels get extremely hot. And you're just going to pour that in. Okay. Right, and then we're just going to bring it back onto the heat gently. And keep stirring it, making sure you get into all the corners uh, until it thickens, so it gets the consistency that you'd like. Okay. Oh, fantastic. It's going to be a bit thicker, isn't it? It's a bit thicker, yep. Yeah. yeah. And so obviously you put the water in there, that's just going to allow time for everything else to Settle. blend through. Yeah, blend set. together, okay. And this chilli there is just for flavour? Just or it's for going flavour. Or going to be chilli, like oh, no, spicy? Just, just for flavour, just so you've got the aromatics in there as well. Oh, okay, fantastic. And so we'll take the chilli out before we serve it. Oh, let's see. Good idea. So this sauce will keep well for a few days in the fridge as well, so you can leave the chilli in there. It's just going to... Give more flavour. More flavour, yeah. Mm. yeah. So you can make it ahead of time. It doesn't need to be made on the day. Fantastic. That's, it. that's, that's really good. I like that idea. Mm, I love salty and, and sour and sweet together. Mm, best combination ever. Mm. So you serve this with what? Uh, so we serve this on our wings or our cauliflower as well, so oh. our vegan version. It's uh, one of the most popular on the menu. It's, yeah. it's that sweet and salty that everyone likes. Yeah, I love that. Mm, mm, mm. So, so with this, we're just now going to let it gently simmer away until that thickens up to the consistency that we like. Okay. So you want it to coat the back of a spoon, it's perfect. All right. On the meantime, you've got your chicken there. Yeah. So how many wings you got there? Uh, so we've got two portions of wings. So in our restaurant, we do everything as three uh, three bone wings, three po uh, three to a portion. Yeah. Um, so we're going to do two different ways. So we're going to do it uh, fried, and we're going to use the air fryer as well. Oh yeah, because so, I don't know, use fry. I don't do fry food yet very often, isn't it? There? We don't do too much fry, but I use the air fryer quite every day, pretty much. Yeah, for doing stuff for the kids. So you can do this in the air fryer as well. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. It's all right for me to mix that? Or, yeah, so or you can keep mixing that, that's not a problem. What we do is we're going to get 300 grams of flour. Yeah. Add 150 grams of water to start. Whisk that into a nice batter. Okay. So, and then top it up to get the thickness that you want. Which, what do you have on this flour? Because this flour looks a bit something... Uh, so this is our seasoned flour that we use in the restaurant. Okay, so, so what is in this flour? Some of the ingredients we've got in there, we've got some onion, we've got some garlic, we've got some more of the gotcha garu that you saw earlier with the smack, spud, uh, yeah. smack cucumbers. Yeah. Um, salt, pepper, and then we've got some other secret seasons in there too. Oh, okay, so you're not gonna give the no, the not this time. Oh, not okay. this time. Okay, okay, so you can so you can put some. What would you suggest for people to put on that flour to be? Because uh, your salt, flour, pepper, the onion, garlic, um, some spice, have some cayenne or some chili peppers. Um, yeah, go from there. Play with okay. it. Add some oregano. Yeah, stuff, just the flavors flavor. that they like, isn't it? I like I like garlic. Everything with garlic tastes delicious. Mm. And you got garlic and and thing that way. Is the secret for the batter to be soft and, and not? So whisking out all of the lumps um, and making sure that you've got it down to the right consistency. It yeah. should stick really well, but also remove itself very easily. Ah, uh, because I tried, I, like I told, I told Frankie that I try one because after I ate your your cauliflower, yeah, it's divine. So I try another place. Oh, you got cauliflower! Da -da -da. Cauliflower. Never the same. No, was right. a, was hot. I couldn't find cauliflower. You know, could f just batter. Just batter. So yeah. The batter's too thick. Um, and also then their bread coming as well, or flouring, however they're doing it, uh, it's too much on there, or they've gone back in too many times. How much water I know how to buy? How many grams you said was so the flour? So 300 grams of flour, and it's taken 250 grams of water. Right. So how is here? Looks ready now. It's ready. Yeah. So you can pull that off. How do I know it's down. ready? So. It's, Coming up, we've got a spoon. Mm. Yeah, see, it leaves, leaves the spoon quite easily, but it's nice and uh, glossy. Ah, uh, okay. So, so it's and that'll carry on as that cools. It'll also set more as well. Oh, okay. So let's turn this right off. It's like it's touching the sides of the pan, and it looks beautiful. There, can you see it. Making my mom sure used to do it. that you get rid of all the um, the lumps out of the cornflour when you're about yeah. to add that to it to the slurry. 
Mm -hmm. is very important, and otherwise very you end good. up beads and you have to sieve it all out. Okay. So we've got our flour. More flour, the same one, the same flavors same flour, as the yeah. there. So okay. same flour, and we've got our chicken as well. Let me put my blouse like this, because I. So this chicken, you don't need to marinate, do anything to no him. No marinate, to nothing it. nice. Make sure that Not it's to nice him and dry. Because, you know him, her, eat is eat, Bianca, eat. Did you correct me, Ash? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so our chicken comes from Leicester. Yeah. Uh, it's award-winning as well. Everything we do, all of our chicken is British. Yeah. Nice and fairly local too. Oh, fantastic! So that is good to know. What we do is going to take our chicken, put it into the flour. Yeah. Cover Don't forget, well. this flour is being with the little spices that he told, the same flour they use for the batter, you also pass them, what you guys call that process? Um, uh, panning. Panning, yeah. yeah. So make sure that we've covered all the chicken yeah. all the way through. And then we're going to go into the batter. Oh. Just going to remove that. Okay. Into the batter, remove any drips. So just give yourself a second. That looks yummy. And then we can go Again. back Again, oh! And that's going to give it a really nice coating. You yeah. will get lots of little craggly bits, but you want that whilst you're cooking, that's where you get all your extra crispy parts from. Yeah, I see. Everyone you see, I would so put the straight there. Ah, so this is what I'm getting wrong. Mm. So make sure... Copy that. ...you get any of the mm. excess flour off, but that you're also getting into any crevices yeah. that are on there as well. Fantastic. See, it's all covered. Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited about that. So then what's happened now? Um, can you just grab me that tray, sorry. This tray. Yep. So we're going to do that over and over for the next few times. You um, guys need to do this at home and let me know what you guys think, because no, yours needs to look like this. I'm telling you, this tastes divine. Should I do one? You can go ahead, yeah. Oh God, let me take my rings, my gold. Shala, let's do it. So pass the flour. Tell me if I'm doing something yeah, wrong. So Don't press let it me... into all the crevices. Okay. With the little corners, you just put it in. Then? Uh, straight into the bowl of butter. Instead. Yep. Okay. So you need to put your hands there, isn't it? Yep, so then you need to, always want to be trying to hold it by the tip when you're going back in. Okay. Because otherwise, anywhere that you've touched and you've got the flour on too, you're yeah. going to take that oh, off with the oil that's on your I hands. I see, I see, yeah. So if you want a perfect crisp, that's the secret to it. Yeah. It's like, How long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been in the trade for the last 16 years. 16 years? Yeah. Oh, that is amazing. What is your background? Uh, I've been all over the place. Uh, I've done some time out in Spain as well, lived out there for a while. Did you? Um, yeah. So oh. what is your favorite cuisine, which you say like, mm, yum, 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 yum. Because you live in Spain, there's lots of, lots of... I've, uh, I've gone through all the paella, yeah. uh, seafood, stuff like that. Um, to be honest, my favorite uh, type of cuisine is game. So anything to do with local game, the more local you can... Uh, which one, like a war or... or like a <laughs> uh, so, no, it's in like... Game. Uh, game, so... Ducks. <laughs> Hair, pheasant, stuff like that. I didn't know if you were. I was like, oh. <laughs> you're talking to a Brazilian, but I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Game, I'm thinking, like, what? <laughs> Which one? Football? <laughs> <laughs> Is it football? Which one? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Checkers, I like checkers. <laughs> We do have fun in this kitchen, I tell you. <laughs> I learn English every day. So which game do you like? Uh, duck, <laughs> hair, pheasant, stuff oh, like that. Oh, I see. Mm. That is really good. So now, Ash has been, is that correct, Ash? Yep, so that's all right. So what you can see on there, the bits that are all stuck to it, that's the chrome yeah. bits I was on about. So that's bits yeah. of butter that came off. And that's where yeah. you get your extra crispy bits on the chicken as well. Ah, fantastic. It's very messy, but it's no, there's no... It's worth the mess. No, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I like this. Don't be scared, guys, to put your hands on it. The get chicken. your hands in your food. In the chicken, yeah. On so, the chicken. Now I'm going to get rid of all the flour in our dishes. Okay. We've preheated the fryer to 175 degrees. And for the air fryer, 200 degrees. Oh, 200 degrees on the air fryer and yep. then... 
175 for the miniature fryer that we have as well. How are people going to know that? They need to buy a little uh, thermometer. So, uh, you can get a little thermometer, you can get them quite easily off Amazon for about five pounds. Yeah. Um, but also on a little fryer, it tends to come with a little temperature uh, gauge on there as well. And it will uh, turn off the temperature icon as soon as it hits that. Oh, I see. So. If people, people don't have a fryer, they're going to do it in the pan. I'm doing it in the pan. What do I do to make it sure that it's ready for me to put my, my chicken in? Uh, so get yourself an oil thermometer, so not an electric one. Mm. Um, make sure you get it up to the temperature and let it stay in there too. So you have to obviously be there constantly with if you're just doing a chip pan. Yeah. Um, but it is more than doable. So now, now, now is it. <laughs> Sorry, I can't share with you at home, but when you do it, or if you're too lazy like me, go to the restaurant. Where are you guys located? Do you know? Do you remember the address? Yep, so we're on social media, uh, TikTok, Instagram and Facebook. Uh, we're located opposite the park in Limiton Spa uh, on Dorma Place. Bot of town, isn't it? Bottom where the, where town, the yep. Fet Peace Festival happened, all that stuff. Exactly, yeah. where the Limiton Food Festival is and places like that. Know, we're yeah. literally opposite there. You, got, you guys are going to be at the food, Limiton Food Festival. I'm going to be there too. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Checking me out. I'm gonna be there. So you're gonna go to that to try my, my dish. I'm gonna do I'm gonna cook something from Brazil mm. on, on the stage. I'm gonna cook some a Brazilian something that one of the recipes of my book. That you guys are gonna be in the book too. That's gonna be good. So uh, so what are we gonna do now? So now we're gonna put them into the fryer. The fryers are already to go. Yeah. So same thing again. We're gonna pick them up by their tips. Yeah. And then we're gonna place them down. Okay. So if you leave the chicken too long, it will start to set and stick to each other. So you've just uh, got to make sure. Make sure that you do quick, yeah. isn't it? That's right. And then that will go down for seven and a half minutes, okay. roughly. And we're going to check that as well with a, temp uh, with a probe to make sure it is cooked. Okay. On the air fryer. Uh, yep. On the air fryer, we're going to spray a little bit of. A uh, little bit of spray oil into spray it. Spray oil. Just two sprays. Or three. And then we're going to add in our chicken, make sure there's room for it all. So these wings are big. You'll struggle to find that size anywhere else. Oh. And then we're just going to spray the top as well. Mm. And that'll go in for 20 minutes at 200 degrees. And we're halfway through, we'll turn them. 200 degrees, 20 minutes. Look at that. Take it out the chili. Mm. Oh my god, this looks like a melasso, we call it in Portuguese. Oh, mm. Mm. I can't resist, you guys know me. So whilst we're doing that, all we can do is we can chop down the um Was it fry in there? Yeah. You got, oh, you got here basil? Mint and basil. Mint and basil, fresh mint and basil. Fresh mint and basil. So we're going to chop down the mint and basil mm -hmm. into a nice julienne. Yeah. Don't need loads, it just complements it really, really well. Yeah, to, to goes where this? Uh, so this will be garnishing the top of it, so oh. we've got this and we've got crispy onions as well. Oh. So seven and a half minutes. Yeah. Uh, we're going to probe them straight down to the bone. We're looking for over 75 degrees and we're straight up to 98, I believe I can see. Yeah. Yep. Fantastic, so that is cooked. Yeah. And then we're going to take them out of here and place them onto our draining paper. Okay. From there, we can season them as well. This is a special season that you yes. guys got in your restaurant. So can you buy that, that? You can buy that in the restaurant as well. And yeah, so we place on there. We're then going to move them all over. You're going to make it look all pretty and decorated, isn't it, to present? Mm -hmm. We're going to get the cucumber salad that we oh, made earlier. cucumber salad we did Luke earlier. The moment. Give the cucumber salad a little stir up. Mm-hmm. And a bigger spoon, chef. No, it's okay. Sure? Okay. Oh. Add some of those cucumbers that we made earlier. Mm-hmm. Dressing on. And then we're going to drizzle over our caramel sauce. Oh. This is amazing. And then we're going to take some of the freshly chopped mint and basil. 
chef, oh, chef, are you gonna kill me? Yeah. And then our crispy shallots as well. Oh man. Right, this right. is. And then that's all ready for you. Wow, wow, wow. Now is the moment of truth. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a little bit extra. Can I put a bit of extra of this sauce? Because this sauce is divine. Oh. So who's gonna dig in first? You go gotta in be first. you. Oh, so cucumber. Mm, we know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Break it apart, yeah. Get messy, get your hands. I need to get with the hands, guy. Literally, get yours, get yours. You want to share? You enjoy it. You oh, no, you can't have that because it's got gluten. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so let's mum here. Mmm. 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 Mmm, this sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, this is divine. Cheers. Cheers. Well done, Chef. Mm. Mm. Thank you very much. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Mm. Guys, this is for us today. I hope you enjoyed the show this week because I did enjoy very much. So. <laughs> I'm going to see you enjoying and I see you the next episode of Bia's Kitchen Show. Don't forget to follow us and follow uh, th them as well because they, Matt's gonna put all the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to help us to empower all the amazing people on this world. Mwah! Love you and leave you. See you in the next episode of Bia's Kitchen Show. Thank you guys, thank you. <laughs>